officers. Thank you, choir. May I now request Director Sir to deliver the welcome address and present the annual report of the Institute. Honorable Chief Guest, Padam Bhusan, Dr. V. K. Saraswat, Member Niti Ayog, Esteemed Guest of Honor, Sri Rakesh Bakshi, Chairman, MD, RRB Energy Limited, Respected Sri Jagdish Khattar, Chairperson BOG, Member of the Senate, faculty and the staff of the institute, degree recipients, distinguished guests, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> Greetings to all of you on the occasion of 14th convocation of the institute. As the director of the institute, I deem it my duty as well as my pleasure to extend a warm welcome to each and every one of you. The Institute is fortunate to have two very distinguished engineering professionals gracing this convocation as the Chief Guest and the Guest of Honor. Dr. Saraswat, the Chief Guest, is an outstanding scientist, an accomplished researcher and an able and visionary administrator. He has been the driving force behind the number of the major technology breakthroughs both in the area of defense technology as well as the technology for the societal benefits. Currently, as the member of the Niti IO, he participates in deciding the roadmap of the country for the future. I extend a warm welcome to Dr. Saraswat to the 14th convocation. Sri Rakesh Bakshi, who is proudly claimed by the Institute as one of its distinguished alumni, charted for himself a new path in the field of renewable energy at a time when alternate source of energy was just in the textbooks. Today, he is acclaimed as a pioneer in the field of wind energy and solar energy. The country recognized his contributions by awarding him the Padam Siri at a very young age. I am happy to welcome Sri Bakshi to his alma mater and to the 14th convocation. As the Chairman Board of Governor, Sri Jagdish Khattar is one among us the Institute is proud to have such an accomplished bureaucrat and a highly recognized corporate leader as its chairman. BOG, his long years of experience in administration and in business leadership are of immense help to us in the form of receiving practical suggestions and visionary directions. I extend a warm welcome to Sri Khattar to the 14th Convocation. I am really happy to welcome all the degree recipients to the 14th Convocation. You are the most important part of this Convocation and everything has been arranged to ensure a memorable day for all of you as you become graduate of this institute. Dear degree recipients, I want you all to remember that this is not the end of your relationship with this institute. It is the beginning of a new phase in the relationship, which should actually be for lifelong. I extend a warm welcome to all other distinguished guests and the media to the 14th convocation. I am proud to be presenting a brief of the annual report of the institute 
which is available in full in the convocation ceremonies. I was happy to join this reputed institute as the director in October 2016. Considering the quality of infrastructure, faculty and the students, I realized that this is an institute that holds immense potential and with more combined with the focused effort, we could take this institution to greater heights. As a result, I sought the cooperation of everyone and together started working in that direction. Based on the recommendation made by the external peer review committee that visited the institute during January 2016 and my personal interaction with the faculty, the staff and the students, some of the initiatives taken to strengthen the overall functioning of the institutes I will present. With the objective of the improving the laboratories and the research infrastructure, a high power committee with the external experts was constituted and based on the reports of the committee, the first phase of the improvement has already been initiated. Enhancing the research culture was another important initiative that was undertaken. Linkage with the prestigious R&D labs was established and the faculty was encouraged to visit those labs and interact with the experts there. The experts from these labs were also invited to the institutes to explore the possibility of collaborative research. Realizing the urgency of curriculum development, the steps have already been initiated to bring about the necessary changes in the curriculum. External experts interacted with the faculty members and discussed with the curriculum requirements. Curriculum revision committee have been constituted at three levels. Apex committee, central committee and the departmental committee. Each of these committees has external experts from the industry, reputed research labs and alumni. This process is expected to be implemented in the coming academic year. The alumni can play an important role in the development of the institute. Recognizing this fact, we are increasing the interaction with the alumni and are trying to get them actively involved in the affair of the institute. In this regard, an alumni database is being prepared and a dedicated website has already been launched. Specifically, we are inviting them to help us with placement, summer internship and the mentorship of the students. The grievance rehearsal was another issue that was raised by external peer review committee. A high level committee of the external experts has been constituted to look into the grievances. The committee is in the process of interacting with the aggrieved. Examining their grievances, merit of the court cases, recommending the suitable measures to resolve the issues within the institute. In addition to the above initiatives, a number of these steps are being taken to enhance the facilities and strengthen the teaching learning and the research processes so as to improve the ranking of the institute in the National Institutional Ranking Framework, NIRF. Towards achieving this objective, the Institute considers the students to be the most important stakeholders and would like to involve them more in decision-making process at the different levels. The Institute is a participant in the Technical Education Quality Improvement Program. Thank you, Phase 2, funded by the World Bank, aimed at scaling up postgraduate education and 
demand driven research and development and innovation under this program the total funds received in the period of 2011 to 2017 is around 14 crore which was utilized effectively in carrying out the various activities the institute institute has established an innovation club and an industry cell to motivate the faculty and the students to undertake the innovate innovative activities and promote the entrepreneurship and start up initiatives to further strengthen these activities interface with the industry is being improved the institute has an excellent record of student placement during the academic session of 2015-16 major multinational companies and the psus recruited our students during the current academic year about 100 reputed companies have already visited the campus the institute conducts a large number of co curricular and extra curricular activities around the year for the holistic development of the students tech sparda and annual techno managerial fest of the institute the an annual cultural festival of the institute confluence and the 45th annual athletic meet site 17 were organized during the january and february 17 we were happy to have the very distinguished principal scientific advisor dr chidambaram as the chief guest for the tech sparda pandit vishumohan bhat the renowned musician as the chief guest for the confluence and sri anup kumar the national kabaddi captain as the chief guest for the athletic meet the institute was privileged to organize the national it challenge for the youth disabilities 2016 in collaboration with the department of empowerment of person with disabilities government of india during 2016 this was the first time such a program was held in the country in which 31 candidates from different states participated in competitions in different categories Sri Krishan Pal Gurjar Honorable Minister of State for Social Justice and Empowerment Government of India was the chief guest at the prize distribution function four of the winner went to participate in the global it challenge in china where they won the five awards with the objective of helping the students develop the skill sets necessary to make themselves employable a special group of skill development has been established which regularly con conducts and organizes the expert lectures workshops training program group discussions mock tests etc on the occasion of 14th convocation of the institute i wish all the graduating students the very best in all their future endeavors i am confident that they will make our institute proud by their outstanding performance in their respective professional field god bless you all jai hind